just want to ask, uh, there is no, no framework that was identified for Mr. Solomon's uh, plan, and I don't see how we can vote anything if there's no details. Sure. A citizen-driven initiative brought the conservation fund to the table. Citizens have pledged considerable funds to assist in making this problem go away forever. What we want to see the town do now is get an appraisal of the property, offer Romspen fair market value and only fair market value. If they refuse, condemn the property. Please ignore the strategies and games being played by persons and groups that have an agenda against what the community wants and what is best for the town. You know, land swaps and other options are just noise, smoke, and mirrors. And guess what? They're pathways to future development of this property. But there's no way, no way that we should turn this over to a working group that includes Preserve Estoso that would allow Rompspun to get more than fair market value. No details have been provided as to what this deal entails. It's already been worked out behind the scenes, it sounds like. The working group proposed is absolutely the wrong people to involve. We brought the conservation fund because we were looking for a solution that would be trustworthy. It's really hard to know who to trust. If they will not take fair market value from the conservation fund or from the town, then proceed with eminent domain. Once you take that title, you can sell it to the conservation fund. Let them begin where they left off in September. Let them fund it. Let them place it under a conservation easement. This is something we all trust because God forbid, we don't want somebody to try to put an amphitheater on the driving range. And once we have paid for this property because we want to pay for this property, but we want to pay what is fair, they will gift that property back to the town of Ora Valley. You know, once again, council member Solomon is dipping into areas where he's making decisions behind the scenes. He's created himself a situation of already putting together a, a committee. I'm experiencing an unwavering curiosity if Councilman Solomon can guarantee that he will not experience any personal benefit, direct or indirect, as a result of his involvement, as stated, at any point in time, including through other parties. If not, it would be, at the very least, highly inappropriate for him to be playing a role in this process as a councilman.